Welcome back. Many people like to enjoy a nice glass of wine. And here in Missouri, we are lucky to have a number of top wineries. We have people here in this video. They are at a winery in Defiance. Last year, Americans purchased more than 4 billion bottles of wine. France follows with 3.6 billion bottles. And if you are looking for a gift for the wine lover on your list, you can stop searching right now. For more than 25 years, the Sotheby Wine Encyclopedia has been a beloved resource for wine enthusiasts around the world. Now joining us is Sotheby's wine expert, Jamie Ritchie, on behalf of National Geographic. Thank you for being with us, Jamie. It's a great pleasure. Thank you for having me. So, Jamie, it does seem like people are drinking more wine these days. Uh, has any of that been impacted by the pandemic? Are you actually seeing a higher amount of sales right now? We certainly are, uh, you know, from our retail business, because everyone is uh, not able to go out to restaurants or not able to travel or go to hotels. And so everyone is uh, consuming more at home. Uh, what we're seeing is that they're going back to their old favorites and enjoying those, but they're also being more adventurous and they're looking at different great varieties, different producers and different regions and exploring those and, uh, and increasing their wine knowledge. So this book is a perfect timing. So I know you see a lot of really expensive bottles of wine on a regular basis. Is it possible to get a good bottle of wine for under 20 bucks? And what should people look for if they want to get something a little on the cheaper side that still tastes really nice? So it's definitely uh, your $20 that you spend today is uh, getting you a lot better wine than it did 5, 10 or 15 years ago because what we know about uh, getting healthy grapes into, uh, into the winery is so much greater. So yes, uh, definitely, uh, yeah, I think from $13 up you can get some really interesting wines. And, uh, and I think you know, the, the style of wine really depends on what your personal favorite is, whether it's a, a great variety like Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc or Pinot Noir or Cabernet Sauvignon. So I think that's a personal preference. I'm curious about these wine auctions. So they're getting more popular. Is this something that just collectors do or do people actually get the wine and enjoy that wine uh, they get at these auctions? So we're seeing uh, a lot of yeah, younger people coming into the auction market. Uh, that's, you know, when we're now selling digitally online rather than in live auctions. So that opens up the market to a broader, younger audience all around the world. And, uh, and those people, uh, uh, you know, we think it's about 50-50 that they, they consume them versus they, they, they collect them. But I, I will tell you that uh, we sold uh, the most expensive bottle of wine for $558,000, a bottle of Romney Conti 1945. And uh, the buyers of that bottle have every intention of enjoying it and consuming it and having a fun evening. All right. Great information. Thank you so much for being with us. We've learned a couple things and we certainly appreciate your time.